talk let's about the Ravens. Let's start with the Packers then, since you brought them up. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the Packers. Uh, I do. I, I'm so <laughs> confused. What did you think about their draft? Good. Let, all right, I'm trying to figure out how do we equate this. Liked it, loved it, hated it, you know, disliked it, kind of thing. Like I, it's, you know, I you disliked uh, their draft. I because I, I dislike I, their draft. I'll, I'll tell you this: I, listening to um, listening to Mike Lombardi's GM shuffle today, uh, I agree with him a hundred percent. Because if you go and look around, you get different draft grades from so many oh. different people, and it's yeah. just it's all biased. It's all and, based on what they think and whatever. So I'll just we'll just tell you whether we like what they did or what whether we don't like it. And it's I think all from people that have never made a draft pick a day in their life. Exactly. Exactly. But, but we're going to do the same thing, okay? We're going to do the same thing. When yeah. we get to Detroit, I'm going to give them a grade because I have a philosophy that I think is the right way to build a football team. Yeah. And they did something different than that. So I'm going to be a dislike. It's just – Yeah. It's and we'll, and we'll get there in a minute. It. It's the only way I know how to quantify it. So, so if you look at – and there's – numerous different sites for you to go to. The one that I trust the most as far as value picks and, and actually figuring out how good these players are, I trust Pro Football Focus for their their player rankings because they actually okay. go through the film work, and I trust the Huddle Report for the same thing. They actually go through and they rank these players. So the HuddleReport.com does value grades for every team. Out of 32 teams, Green Bay was 28 as far as value picks, right? So Jordan Love, okay, there might have been some value there. They had him ranked 22nd. And uh, they traded they up a, to get him. And they traded up to get him. Now, that's where it gets a little hairy, but they reached for A.J. Dillon in the second round. They reached for another running back in the third round, the kid from uh, Cincinnati, right? Um, no, that's a tight end. Oh, no, tight end. Sorry, sorry. Uh, and, and then, you know, the linebacker, Kamal Martin from Minnesota, like, Again, another reach. Like, I, and and you can talk I, I about like whatever. I didn't like a single player that they drafted. Let's say, yeah, hang on. I, I really true. don't. Like, I, I like Love because I think he's a boomer bust guy. The problem yeah. is, he's not going to see any field time unless Aaron gets hurt. Now, if they know something, here's the problem that we don't, we're not able to adjust. Okay. Yeah. They have the medicals on Aaron. They have the medicals that nobody else has. That's all true. Right? And if they think it's not about his caliber of play, but we don't think this guy can play 16, yes, we've got him on this ridiculous contract, but if we don't think he can play 16, we have to find a backup for him. Yeah. We, have to, we have to think about two quarterbacks, and we have to spend draft capital on it. And if that's the case, then I'm out of this draft class. If I couldn't have Burrow and I couldn't have two, I made it abundantly clear. There's only one other quarterback I would have spent a meaningful pick on I would have let everybody else fall, and that was love. And it's only because I, I there is a chance he could be dynamic and really good. But if he's not, it's not going to take me three years to find that out. That's that's a very that's good all point. I want. I, your time is more valuable than anything else. Yes, yes, I I agree with all of that. Their team needs. Uh, based on a that, lot of these. Not another pick on there I like at he, all. Here's the thing. They needed wide receiver help. Like, if you look at the stats from last year, they had uh, nearly 700 yards of additional offense dropped passes by that wide receiving core. Now, they added Funches, you know, the in the offseason. The most loaded wide receiving draft we may have ever seen, There were in my 37 opinion. wide receivers taken. Like In, I, in the, top, the top two rounds were just filled Yes. With, I think potential star power. Yeah, just so I've got an opinion about that, so so I could be wrong in three years. But now the other two team needs were offensive line and linebacker. They addressed both of those, but not until they got into the fourth round. Yeah, like I they reaching for AJ Dillon at running back as a wasted pick was just my now. It that's not to say that he can't be a good player. Doesn't matter. But Aaron Jones came out last year and was phenomenal. I like, was just about to say, you've got a good running back. Finally. And it took a few years to get that. But why why use it on A.J. Dillon, who hasn't really proven that he can catch the ball out of the backfield? You've shown that you need that. That's that's what makes Aaron Jones so good. It, 
Yeah, he he well, can I'm maybe okay come if you in. want a different kind of running back. Okay, if you want a change of pace guy, you but know, even a more still, of a that's. I'm, I'm not. I'm okay with that. My problem is, is you know how I feel about running backs. You yeah. you find one. Yeah, you, you don't you, have to draft him in the second round. You, you, go to the, you go to the playgrounds when they open back up in Chicago and or Detroit or one of these big cities around where you live. And now you, you're probably not going to find them in Green Bay because there's not a lot of playgrounds in Green Bay. But but when you get into a big city, you you find a dude that can tote the rock. Yes. You just can. Yes. C.J. Anderson came off the scrap heap a couple of years ago and he was running in the playoffs over folks. He oh, just just Damn. ridiculous, like just unbelievable. I don't know? mean to devalue it, but I just don't value it. I just don't value it. No, it blew my mind just thinking about it. Like, I, oh, so frustrating. Yep. So, yeah, so they, they addressed yep. offensive line and linebacker in the later rounds. Yeah. Obviously, their defense was really good last year. Uh, you know, you, they need Aaron to play better, but I, I do think that he needs more weapons. Uh, in order to help out, because I mean, seven hundred dropped yards in a season is is pretty ridiculous, right? So they had a, they had guys, and you can say it's because it's cold, and you can say it's whatever. But my gosh, even even with their undrafted free agent signings, they drafted one wide receiver, and it's a kid from Michigan State that is known for dropping the ball. Like it, it blows my mind just looking at what they did in this draft. Like, it, if I were a Packers fan, I would be livid. Now, I'm not a Packers fan, so I kind of find it entertaining. Yeah, but... the only reason why it's not a hate for me is because it pissed Aaron off, and that gives me some some joy. 